Hi everyone, and welcome to part 5 of our starter series. Today, we're diving into how to stake loan protocol tokens. At the moment, staking loan isn't integrated directly into the WebAuth wallet, so we'll be doing it through the Metal X lending platform instead. Alright, let's get started. As always, we'll begin in our WebAuth wallet. Right now, I don't have any loan tokens available to stake, so first, we're going to swap some USDC into loan tokens. To do that, we tap on Swap, which takes us to the website at metalx.com. Once we're there, we log in using our wallet. After logging in, we head over to the Swap menu, change the swap target to the loan token, and then enter the amount of USDC we want to convert into loan. In this example, we're swapping 150 USDC for around 356,000 loan tokens. The swap went through successfully, so let's head back to our wallet. Now that everything's ready, we can go ahead and start staking our tokens. To do that, we head back to appmetalx.com and click on Loan in the menu. This will redirect us to the MetalX lending page. MetalX Lending is a decentralized platform built on the XPR network where users can lend or borrow cryptocurrencies and also stake their loan tokens. For more details, feel free to explore the site a bit, and if you have any questions, you might find answers in the FAQ section or join the Loan Telegram group. To get started with staking, we first need to connect our wallet. This works the same way as it did earlier on the main MetalX site. Once connected, we click on Stake in the menu. Now let's take a look at the information displayed on the staking page. Base APR, the annual percentage rate shows the yearly interest you'll earn for staking your tokens. Your loan balance, this shows the amount of loan tokens in your wallet that are available for staking. Stake amount, here, you enter how many loan tokens you want to stake. Stake locked until, this is the date until which your tokens will be locked. Important, once the transaction is confirmed and the tokens are staked, you won't be able to unstake them early, so make sure you're absolutely certain how long you want to lock them up. Multiplier, this is multiplied by the base APR to calculate your final APR. The multiplier ranges from 1 for short-term staking, up to 4 for the full maximum lockup period of 4 years. So, the longer the staking period, the higher your APR, but again, remember, you won't be able to access those tokens until the selected date. Projected APR, this shows the APR that applies specifically to your stake, based on the lock period and multiplier you've chosen. Total locked loan, this indicates the total number of loan tokens currently staked across the platform. Total average multiplier, this shows the average multiplier applied to all staked tokens. The current value is 3.415, which means that most tokens are being staked for long-term periods rather than short-term ones. All right, now that we've gotten an overview, let's go ahead and start staking. First, we select the number of tokens we want to stake. In our case, we're going to stake everything, so we simply click on Max. Next, we choose the staking duration. The minimum is 7 days, and the maximum is 4 years. As we move the slider, we can see how the multiplier increases with the length of the staking period, and how that affects the projected APR. For example, if we stake for the full 4 years, we'd get an annual percentage rate of over 14%. But remember, once you confirm, your tokens are locked in until the selected date, and there's no way to unstake early. So choose your staking period carefully. For this example, we'll go with the shortest duration, 7 days. With a multiplier of 1, we'll receive the base APR of 3.54%. Once everything looks good, the amount and the duration, we hit stake. As always, we'll need to confirm the transaction with our PIN. And that's it. Our tokens are now successfully staked. In the current stake section, we can now see our active staking position, and we'll be able to check it again anytime later as well. Now, let's take a quick look at how this appears in our WebAuth wallet. We can see our wallet now shows a balance of zero loan tokens. If we tap on the loan protocol position, we'll see that the tokens were sent to lock.token. This means that while they're staked, they're no longer visible in our wallet balance, because they've been moved to the lock.token account. And with that, we've completed the staking process. Next up, 
Let's take a look at how to claim your rewards. We'll check back in on the platform three days later to see how it's done. Three days later, we log back into the Metal X lending platform. Up in the top right corner under Rewards, we can now see that 95 loan tokens are available to claim. When and how often you claim your rewards is completely up to you. I'm doing it here after three days, but you can choose any interval that suits you. As soon as rewards are available, you can claim them whenever you want. So, let's click on Claim and sign the transaction using our WebAuth wallet on our smartphone. The reward balance drops to zero, and the 95 loan tokens are now added to our loan balance. From here, we could choose to stake these new tokens again right away, but in this case, we'll just head back to the WebAuth wallet. There, we can see the 95 loan tokens from our rewards are available and ready to use however we like. Whether you just leave them in your wallet, stake them again, or swap them for another token, the choice is yours. And that's all for claiming rewards. Only one step left in our tutorial, unstaking our tokens. For that, we'll wait another 4 days and come back then. Okay, 4 days have passed, so let's jump back in and check on our staked loan tokens. On the dashboard we can see that our tokens are locked until July 14, 2025, 2.34 pm. The current time is shown in the bottom left corner, and there are less than 40 seconds left until the unstaking period is reached. Information, it doesn't matter when you unstake your tokens after the lock period, could be right away, or way later. So don't stress about it, it's totally up to you. I'm doing it right now, right on time, just to walk you through the process and show you how it works. Right now, there's no option to unstake, but that'll change the moment the timer hits the stake until time. We can also see that we still have 146 loans sitting in the rewards box. Since we're about to unstake our tokens anyway, there's no need to claim these rewards separately, they'll be automatically credited to us when we unstake. Okay, time's up. Now we have the option to unstake. Before we click it, a few things to keep in mind. Once the lock period ends, you're free to unstake, but you don't have to. You can let the position roll on indefinitely and unstake whenever you like. The projected APR you locked in, that's the base APR multiplied by your chosen multiplier, stays in effect until you unstake. That can be handy if, for example, the base APR has since dropped because more loan tokens were staked by others. In short, once the set staking period has ended, you're completely free to decide when, or even whether, you want to exit your stake. For this demo, we are going to unstake. So, we hit unstake, confirm the transaction, enter our PIN as usual, and that's it, we're done. The loan tokens have returned to our regular loan balance and are once again fully flexible, ready to swap, rest take, or whatever else we want to do. As you've seen, staking loan gives you a lot of flexibility. If you decide to stake, it's all about finding the mix of token amount and lock period that fits your strategy. And with that, we've reached the end of the step-by-step -step tutorial. Found that helpful? Follow us on X and YouTube for fresh updates and more videos. Thanks for watching, and happy staking! This was your XPR Block Producer Blocks Prod.